Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to be reading you this book, Is a Bald Eagle Really Bald? Um, this book is about Miss Patel and her class, and they're learning about American symbols just like we are. And they actually get a visit from, I think her name's Dr. Kelly, um, and she gets to come into the classroom, and she brings Sam with them, and they learn all about um, the bald eagle, which is really exciting. So I hope you enjoy this book and get some really good ideas about why we chose the bald eagle kind of as like our country's mascot. All right, enjoy. Is a bald eagle really bald? By Martha Rustad. Chapter one, an American mascot. Our class is having a visitor today. Miss Patel makes us guess who. Our visitor eats fish, she hints. Is it my dad? asks Annabelle. No, says our teacher. It has a sharp beak and feathers. Joshua guesses. Is it a duck? No, but it is a bird. What bird do you see on this dollar? asks Miss Patel. A bald eagle, says Rose. That's right, answers Miss Patel. Why is a bald eagle on that dollar? asked Natalie. The bald eagle is a symbol of our country, says Miss Patel. What's a symbol? asked John. A symbol is something that stands for something else, answers our teacher. Like a bear is a symbol of our school. We call the bear our mascot, which is like a symbol. We learn that eagles have been symbols in other places too. They appeared on coins long ago in Greece and Rome. Bald eagles are important to many American Indian cultures. They believe bald eagles carry messages to gods. Bald eagle feathers are treasured as gifts. The bald eagle is also on the great seal. Miss Patel tells us. A seal is visiting us too? Luke asks. <laughs> no, Luke, <laughs> our teacher laughs. The great seal is a picture. It is a way to show that something is officially American. We learn the great seal has been on money and stamps. It's also on government buildings and important papers. Some soldiers have the great seal on the buttons of their uniforms. The Great Seal has been a symbol of the United States since 1782. Look closely at the Great Seal, says Miss Patel. What is the bald eagle holding in its feet? I see a plant, says Karen. Right, says Miss Patel. It's an olive branch. It stands for peace. I see arrows, says Noah. The arrows are for strength, explains Miss Patel. Why are there stars on top? asks Kevin. There are 13 stars, says Miss Patel. That's because our country started out with 13 states. A banner in the bald eagle's mouth reads E Pluribus Unum. These Latin words mean one from many. It's a way of saying that many states make one country. Chapter two, a feathered visitor. Knock, knock, a woman walks in with a big box. That looks like my dog's kennel, whispers Sophia. Hello, class, says the woman. I'm Dr. Kelly. I brought a bald eagle to meet you today. His name is Sam. He's from the Raptor Center. We all have to sit still so we don't scare Sam. Dr. Kelly puts on a glove to protect her hand from the talons on his feet. Raptors are birds that kill and eat other animals for food. Raptor centers take care of wild birds that are hurt or sick. Some birds return to the wild. Others stay at the raptor center. Dr. Kelly takes Sam out of the box. He's huge, says Kira. 
Jackson pipes up. Didn't you say he was bald? Good question, says Dr. Kelly. The bald part of its name comes from the word piebald. It means having white marks. We admire Sam's white and brown feathers. Adult bald eagles weigh about 10 pounds. Their wings stretch out as wide as eight feet. Sam's bright yellow eyes watch us. Bald eagles have very good eyesight, says Dr. Kelly. They soar high in the sky. Their eyes see food far below. Then they dive down to catch it. Where do they take the food, asks Oliver. Dr. Kelly says, they can swallow it whole in the air. Well, that's fast food, says Penny. Yes, Dr. Kelly grins. They also bring it to their babies in their nests. We learn that eagles are not picky eaters. They eat fish, birds, small mammals, snakes, turtles, and even dead animals. An eagle nest can be up to 10 feet wide and six feet tall. It might weigh one ton. That's about as much as a small car. Chapter three, a fitting symbol. Why is the bald eagle our country's mascot? Asks Harry. I know, says Lily, because they fly free and Americans are free. Good answer, Miss Patel says. Also, bald eagles live only in North America. In the late 1800s and the 1900s, the number of bald eagles shrank. Hunters killed some. Chemicals used on farms made their eggshells weak, so the government passed laws to keep them safe. All right, everyone, we're out of time, our teacher says. Line up for lunch. Fish is on today's menu, Connie says. Hey, that's what bald eagles like to eat. What do, you, what do we tell Dr. Kelly and Sam? Miss Patel asks. Thank you, Dr. Kelly. Goodbye, Sam. We all say together. Hey, boys and girls. So I hope you liked that book. Um, I really liked that we learned all about why a bald eagle is our symbol um, for the United States. And it's because it's strong and it flies free. Um, but I also liked that you got to learn about the great seal in here. So it's almost like you got to learn about two symbols when this book, we thought we were only going to learn about one. But the great seal with that logo, right, that um, gets put on all sorts of things to make them officially American. And so I think it's cool that that little seal, right, that little picture could have so much meaning built right into it with the eagle and the olive branch and the stars and the arrows, all things that represent America. So I hope you enjoyed this book and you continue to enjoy learning about some American symbols.